Hey guys, Mitch here. Today we're taking a look at Apple's iOS 7 Beta 3 and going over some of its features and an overview. Now I apologize for the audio, I'm not back at my house, I am on vacation, but I am still covering iOS 7 betas. So without any further ado, let's jump in. Aside from the speed updates in Beta 3, there's been some new changes in Safari. First off, the .com button has been removed, and now you can have access to the .com, the .net, and the .org domain extensions by holding down a new period button when you are typing in the new URL and then you can go ahead and hit go and it will take you to your favorite websites. Within the status bar, items such as the cellular connection strength, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and the battery life have become slightly larger on the lock screen to appeal to people who have smaller vision and it just makes these items stand out more when you are viewing them on the lock screen. Siri is much faster to navigate and the sounds are more natural. The third beta also includes a development versions of the new male and female voices for some certain languages. The music application got a minor redesign with new icons, rearranged controls, and rearranged ratings. In addition, the now playing track is displayed fully within the music application. The calendar app now displays scheduled events on a monthly view using small gray dots below the dates. So now when you individually collect on them, you can see what events you have, either if they're an ongoing day or if they have a specific time range, you will be able to view those within the monthly view within the calendar application. The App Store got a new top charts option, so now you can view applications from the top charts on both paid and free. In addition, you now will see a new animated icon when you are downloading apps from the App Store as the download bar is now replaced with a round download timer and that also will appear once the application has begun downloading and then you will see the same animation when the application is installing and then you can go ahead and play your favorite apps all downloaded from within the App Store. Folders within iOS 7 Beta 3 have become more transparent so now when you add applications to their own folders you can see they'll become more transparent and this makes it more appealing to the background as you add different applications into their own individual folders. Before you weren't able to see the time when you were playing a song on your lock screen but now with iOS 7 Beta 3 the lock screen now shows the time while you are playing music on your device so you no longer have to unlock your device to actually view the time but you can see it all on the lock screen. On the lock screen the spotlight search has also been improved in speed and there's also a new animation when you access the spotlight search. So now when you bring it down, you can see the new animation. And when you dismiss it, the animation will fade out as well. iOS 7 improves the 2x mode on non-Retina iPads when running the iPhone apps. Now, applications that are iPhone only will now be upgraded to a nice support high resolution on non-Retina display iPad apps for your convenience. So guys, this has been a look at the iOS 7 Beta 3 running on my iPod Touch 5th generation as well as the iPad. Now if you want to get your hands on it, I will leave links in the description below where you can go ahead and download iOS 7 Beta 3 onto your device. Anyways guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next one.